anxious. I was fully aware. I looked to the side and I saw this guy laying on the floor under the lip of the bar. And I said, oh my God. So this is not just my word. They just had the power, the influence, and the money to get around town and shut people down and pay them for their silence. Hold on tight because this is the bombshell of the century. Diddy, the legendary music mogul, is back in the hot seat with a scandal that could end his career forever. Just when we thought his legal troubles couldn't get any worse, an explosive 25-year-old case has resurfaced, and it's threatening to land him behind bars for life. I got hit right here, in my nose, in between my eyes, which means I'm facing directly at you. Just like I'm looking at you and I can tell you got on black shades. A victim has come forward claiming she has undeniable evidence that Diddy shot her in the face at a New York City nightclub back in 1999. And that's not all. She says he bribed her friends and witnesses to lie to the police. What does this mean for Diddy and his empire? Stay tuned as we dive deep into the shocking allegations, hidden secrets, and the possible end of Diddy's reign. I'm 100%, I'm 100% sure I'm 100% sure. I'm a million percent sure. So, as the story unfolds, the drama surrounding Sean Diddycom's alleged involvement in the 1999 Club New York shooting continues to unravel with gripping intensity. What happened that night has remained a topic of heated debate and speculation, but recent developments have brought it back into the spotlight with a vengeance. In the early hours of December 27, 1999, the atmosphere at Club New York was electric, with celebrities mingling in the VIP section, velvet ropes separating them from the rest of the club's patrons. Diddy, along with then-girlfriend Jennifer Lopez and his entourage, arrived at the club, ready for a night of celebration. The club was packed and the energy was palpable, but no one could have predicted the chaos that would soon ensue. And whatever else happened, everything broke out and some shooting occurred. At around 2.55 a.m., gunfire erupted, sending panic-stricken clubgoers into the cold New York night. Three people were wounded in the melee, including Natanya Rubin, who was shot in the face. The immediate aftermath was a blur of sirens, flashing lights, and confusion. Diddy and Lopez were quickly taken into custody, along with Diddy's bodyguard Anthony Jones and driver Wardell Fenderson after a dramatic police chase through the city. A stolen 9mm pistol was found in their vehicle, but the chaos of the night was just beginning to unfold. At the end of the day, uh, I think he was not fleeing a crime scene. I think he believed that he was fleeing for his life. Interestingly enough, despite the dramatic arrest and the serious charges laid against Diddy and his entourage, the narrative soon shifted. Lopez was released after 14 hours, and Diddy, who proclaimed his innocence from the start, was eventually acquitted of all charges. The charges against me are 100% false, and hopefully due, due to time, we'll start to see that. Thank you very much. However, his protege, Jamal Scheinbarrow wasn't so fortunate. He was charged with three counts of attempted homicide and other related charges, ultimately serving nearly a decade in prison. That night. But I think your fans in some way believe you were wronged, not just by the legal system, but also by the industry. But what no one expected was the resurgence of accusations from Natanya Rubin. Rubin, who has lived with the bullet fragments in her face for over two decades, is now willing to undergo surgery to have them removed and used as evidence. Her claims have thrown a wrench into the neatly tied narrative of Diddy's innocence. I'm willing to have a doctor remove a part of the 9mm bullet in my face so that they can use it as evidence if need be for this trial, and it may cost me my life, Rubin stated in a recent interview, highlighting her determination to seek justice. I was a victim of a shooting that night in the club, December 27, 1999, shot in the face by Sean Puffy Combs. One insider revealed that Rubin has never wavered in her story. She insists she saw Diddy pull out a gun and shoot, an accusation that starkly contrasts with the court's findings that led to his acquittal. I literally watched them pull out the guns. I had a clear point of view. I mean, for God's sake, I got shot in my nose. I was facing them directly, Rubin has said, emphasizing her firsthand experience of the traumatic event. And I watched him shoot me. So not to digress, it always bugs me when people say, how can you be sure? This leads us to the question, could it be that the truth about that night has been buried under layers of legal maneuvering and influence? Ruben's accusations are not the only ones casting a shadow over Diddy's past. Recently, Rodney Lil Rod Jones Jr. filed a civil lawsuit against Diddy, alleging that he boasted about getting away with the shooting. According to Jones, Diddy even claimed that Lopez had carried the firearm into the club and passed it to him during the altercation. The stakes couldn't be higher for Diddy, whose career has weathered numerous storms, but might not withstand this brewing tempest. The FBI's recent raids on his properties in Los Angeles and Miami have only added fuel to the fire, suggesting that there might be more to this story than previously revealed. Federal agents have not disclosed the specifics of their investigation, but the timing aligns ominously with Rubin's renewed call for justice. I will not stop until you 
pay the price for what you did to my life. What no one expected was the depth of Shine's loyalty and the ultimate price he paid. Despite being a rising star under Diddy's tutelage, Shine took the fall, serving time while Diddy walked free. In a recent interview, Shine reiterated his actions that night, stating, I seen somebody reach for a gun, and I reached for my weapon, and I defended my friends and myself. His conviction and subsequent deportation to Belize after his release only deepened the mystery surrounding the event. As more details emerged, the complex web of relationships and rivalries of that night becomes clearer. Diddy's involvement with notorious figures like Matthew Scar Allen and the Brooklyn crowd adds another layer of intrigue. Shine's decision to act in defense, fearing for his life and that of his friends, paints a picture of a night steeped in danger and split second decisions. Or sometimes you could think Puff is like a brother. You can, it's easy to mistake Puff as a friend. The fallout from the club New York shooting has left lasting scars, both literal and figurative. Diddy, who once declared confidently that he would be vindicated, now faces a renewed public scrutiny that could reshape his legacy. Ruben's steadfastness in her claims and willingness to risk her life for the truth calls into question the legal processes that led to Diddy's acquittal. Who better to tell you what happened than the person who got shot smack dab in between my eyes? She asks, a rhetorical question that underscores the gravity of her testimony. Meanwhile, Diddy's former bodyguard, Anthony Jones, who was also acquitted, met a tragic end in 2003 during a nightclub altercation in Atlanta. The loss of a key witness further complicates the narrative, leaving gaps that are now filled with speculation and lingering questions. As the story of the Club New York shooting continues to unfold, the implications for Diddy are profound. His recent legal troubles, including allegations of inappropriate behavior and the high-profile raids, suggest that the past may finally be catching up with him. The call to reopen the case, fueled by Ruben's unwavering testimony, and the new allegations from Jones signals that the quest for truth and justice is far from over. But even that's not all. The unfolding drama of Diddy's alleged involvement in the 1999 Club New York shooting continues to capture attention, with Natanya Rubin's renewed allegations adding a potent twist to an already convoluted story. And, and trust me, everybody else knew what happened too. You know how many people in the club were talking about this all around New York? Everybody knew he did it. Rubin insists that the witnesses, many of whom were her friends, were bribed by Diddy to stay silent, painting a picture of a man willing to go to great lengths to protect his image. The claim that these witnesses have maintained their silence for almost 25 years adds a chilling dimension to the saga. Could it be that Diddy's influence was powerful enough to keep this secret buried for so long? I personally know people who were paid for their silence. Personally. And that doesn't make me feel good, but I know they were. Interestingly enough, the legal landscape might be shifting. Experts suggest that Diddy could indeed face life in prison if these new claims hold up in court. This isn't just about the shooting anymore. It's about a potential pattern of behavior that could lead to severe consequences. Noted a legal analyst, the possibility of life imprisonment looms large, casting a shadow over Diddy's future. It seems that his ability to intimidate and silence may be waning, with the justice system appearing more determined than ever to unravel the truth. Amidst this turmoil, the spotlight also shifts to Jennifer Lopez, who was Diddy's girlfriend at the time of the shooting. Lopez, often seen as the glamorous counterpart to Diddy's swagger, could play a pivotal role in the unfolding legal drama. Her reaction to Diddy's recent legal troubles has been one of apparent detachment, but sources close to her reveal a different story. Jennifer has always maintained that not everything in their relationship was, as it seemed, a confidant disclosed. This statement opens up a Pandora's box of speculation about what Lopez might have witnessed during her time with Diddy. It really did open the floodgates, as you said, because it detailed almost two decades of hidden coercion. So could Lopez, with her insider knowledge, be the key witness who brings new light to the events of that fateful night? Some suggest that her testimony could be crucial. Jennifer was right there in the midst of it all. If anyone knows the truth, it's her. Despite her reluctance to speak publicly about Diddy, the pressure is mounting for Lopez to break her silence. The implications of her potential testimony are enormous, potentially tipping the scales of justice. Lopez's personal life is also under scrutiny. Recently, she has been dealing with her own set of challenges, including rumors of a troubled marriage with Ben Affleck. Insiders reveal that Lopez is disgusted by Diddy's actions, particularly in light of the allegations from his ex-girlfriend, Cassie Ventura, who accused him of abuse. This reaction speaks volumes about Lopez's stance on Diddy, further distancing herself from the man she once loved. Personally, I've never met Diddy a day in my life, but when you do wrong, <laughs> it comes back on you, so. Lopez's documentary, The Greatest Love Story, Never Told, subtly hints at past relationships marred by unsavory experiences. Though she refrains from naming names, the implications are clear. Her relationship with Diddy was far from the fairy tale it appeared to be. 
There were people in my life who said, I love you, and then didn't do things that were kind of in line with the word love. Being thrown around and manhandled like that is not fun. Lopez confessed in the documentary, shedding light on the emotional turmoil she endured. As the drama with Diddy continues to unfold, Lopez remains a figure of intrigue and speculation. Will she step forward and share her side of the story, or will she choose to remain silent, focusing on her current life and career? The anticipation is palpable, with fans and critics alike eager to see what unfolds next. As the revelations continue to surface, it's clear that the saga surrounding Diddy and the 1999 Club New York shooting is far from over. What do you think about Natanya Rubin's renewed accusations and her determination to undergo surgery for justice? And how significant do you believe Jennifer Lopez's potential testimony could be in this case? Goodbye for now, and see you in the next video.